G'day folks, Ben from Snowies today showing you this Black Wolf Compact Director's Chair. Hit it. This chair has got a super compact pack size, an integrated side table and cup holder, and has a massive 140 kilo weight rating. Before we dive into this product, there is loads more content like this on our YouTube channel, so make sure you like and subscribe and you'll get notified of all of our latest content. Now let's jump in. This is how the compact director's chair looked when it's packed away in its bag. About five and a half kilos, about 50 centimeters by 50 centimeters, and around about 12 to 13 centimeters in depth this way. The unique feature of this chair is how small it packs up. This has been around for a long time. Black Wolf, one of the first ones, or probably the first one to have this in the market. Uh, I'll set it up, or I'll pull it out of the bag and show you how to set it up, because it's got a quite a unique way you can set this up. Now, looking at it like this, it's got its own carry handle here, so you don't actually need to have the carry bag if you don't like. You can carry it like this, but this makes it easy to handle. Now, to set this up, um, spin it around so that the well, you can tell where the, which way the front is by this bound side here. This is the top of the, the backrest. Have that facing the way that the seat's gonna face. I mean, you can spin it around after anyway. Fold these upwards like this, and then the back pulls up like this as well. So these are set a little bit loose until you get the rest of the chair set up. So if you now separate this in the middle here, now a lot of people will wanna just push down on the sides to try and set this up. That's not going to work. It's only going to work to a degree. What you actually need to do is come to the side of the chair here and grab this portion here. There's actually a sticker on here that says pull it up. So put your hand on the top section here, grab this part here and pull this up and you'll feel it snap into place. Once that's snapped into place, it pushes the side table up on the side here, stretches this out and that's set up nice and easy. Now that didn't require a lot of muscle, just a little bit of pressure to pop that into place. But once that pops into place, that's what gives the whole chair its stability. Now cover off on the, the boring bit. So the dimensions, about 95 centimeters to the top of the seat here, about 85 centimeters in total width to the edge of the table out here. But this table measures 38 centimeters in, in depth this way and about 22 centimeters out this way. You can't remove it, it stays attached. Depth wise, it's just over 50 centimeters from the very back of the seat here to the front. And the actual seated area is about 45 centimeters to where you sit, or when you sit on this and it sags down, it's around about 45 centimeters, maybe a little bit less. And then 45 centimeters in depth to this point here is quite an upright or sort of 90 degree seated position. And about 45 centimeters in seating area in between where the frame is. It's a bit wider to the edge of the frame, but about 45 centimeters where you actually sit there. Materials that it's made of is a durable 600 denier polyester. So this black material here is a 600 denier polyester and it's got a, a foam or a synthetic padding inside there. There's also this mesh sort of material here, which is also padded, but adds a little bit of extra breathability, a slightly softer, nicer surface to sit on as well. And that same foam padding features in both arms here. So it's a rigid arm with a foam padding over the top. So it's a little bit more comfortable to rest your arms on. Now this tabletop is a laminated MDF. So a nice waterproof top on it, easy to clean and keep tidy. Um, but as with all chairs, don't leave it out in the rain. Um, make sure you get the longest life you can out of your investment. Now the frame is a powder coated steel uh, and it's all put together with steel rivets and these nylon components as well as nylon feet on the base here. It's a nice durable frame. It's uh, tried and tested. It's been around for a long time. Um, a few sort of moving parts here, but it does work really well and offers stability with that small pack size. Now, a bit of a tour around the chair. The front, as we've been looking at, uh, nothing else to see there. On the side, um, you've got this arm here, which you use for setup and pack down. I'll show you the pack down shortly. And then you've got this uh, little sort of holder here, which is integrated into the arm. So you can't, <clears throat> excuse me, you can't remove that. Don't need to though. You've got a little pocket there, perfect for a phone. You do get a little set of instructions there on how to set it up and pack it away, but a little mesh pocket there. And on the other side of this little sleeve, you've got a zippered storage section as well. So what a, quite a well-considered storage pocket there that's kind of useful to keep things secure and easy access with that open pocket on the side there. On the back, not much more to see. Um, you've got that handle there, which doesn't have any use when the chair's set up, but uh, easy for carrying around. Same thing on the back here, as you saw on the front with this kind of folding frame. On the other side, uh, you've got the little table. Now this doesn't fold down as the chair's set up. The table always stays set up. You've got this little cutout section here, plastic cutout section that you can fit a cup in. It's also got a little um, section cutout so you can also fit a mug in there as well. So your mugs aren't gonna slide off if the chair is on a slight angle or it gets knocked. 
Nothing more to see on that side, just that padded armrest and back around to the front. Now I'll sit in it to show you how comfortable the chair is, or I'll give you my opinion on how comfortable the chair is. Now it's got 140 kilo weight rating, so uh, for a chair with a frame that's got so many moving parts, it's a really good uh, weight rating. I'm 185 centimeters to give you a bit of a reference there. Um, and one thing to note with these, the frame on the bottom here, the hoop style legs, means this isn't gonna sink in some soft ground as easy as some chairs that just have a single foot. So that offers a bit of stability. Um, in terms of wiggle um, on the chair, it feels nice and sturdy, moves a little bit, but feels nice and sturdy, no problems there at all. And it's got a very upright seated position. If we start at the, the base here and how my legs fit on here, I've um, quite tall, but I've covers most of the upper part of my leg here to a, quite a comfortable point here. It doesn't dig into my legs. There's nothing hard across the front here to dig into my legs. Comes back to quite an upright seated position. So it's certainly not a chair as you would expect with a director's chair, not a chair you'd be lounging down in. It's a chair you're getting to sit upright in. So great for dining, uh, sitting at a table dining or sitting up and having your meal uh, around the campfire. And you've got this handy little table next to you here. Now that doesn't fold down, it stays set up. As I mentioned before, you can't put that away while you're using it. Height of the back comes to just below, or quite a bit below my shoulders here. So there's not enough for my head to rest on anything. And even if I slouch down, still not high enough for my head to rest on, but that's not why you buy a director's chair. You're buying it for this upright, comfortable seated position here. Uh, heaps of width. I've got plenty of space in terms of width here and the arms feel quite comfortable. This um, padded section here makes for a nice, comfortable uh, rest for your arms. Uh, the other benefit of a director's chair is the rigid arms, and these are no exceptions. They feel nice and sturdy. If you need the arms or rigid arms to help you get in and out of the chair, nice and firm to rest on to push yourself up and out of the chair. So you've got nice firm arms to help you in and out. Now the real benefit though of this chair is that pack size, how easy it is to pack away and how small it is to pack in your car. Now I've showed you how to set it up. I'll now show you how to pack it away. First thing we want to do to pack it away is come around to the side here. We've got this little bar that's got uh, mentions on here, pull up to lock or down to unlock. Now we can do this two ways, I suppose. The harder way, which is still a really easy way, is to just use our arms and separate these. Push that down just to unlock it. Even easier way though, is to just use your foot. So come to the side here and just push this down with your foot till that unlocks, till it pops unlocked. Come around to the back of the chair and just pull these up, squish them together. Keep these upright like this and fold the back of the chair down flat like this. Keep hold of the arms and just push the arms down over the top of the chair and fold them down flat. They stay in place while you use this carry handle to move it. You can now just leave it like that and pack it in the car or you can put it back in the bag so that you can protect it even more. And probably if you're carrying it for longer distances, the bag is gonna be an easier thing to carry it in. Now the bag's reasonably oversized, so it's a good size bag to fit it in. So it's not oversized, it's just the right size. So it fits back inside nice and easily. So that is the Black Wolf Compact Director's Chair. These have been around for a long time. Pretty sure Black Wolf were the first ones to the market with one of these guys. Uh, they've been really popular because of the pack size um, that you get when you compare these to other director's chairs, which can be quite big. You can fit two or three of these easily in the boot of any car. Check these out online at snowies.com.au.